Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today's video is going to be all about nodes in the JavaScript document object model. Now, typically uh, in your experience, you may have noticed that when you want to do things such as add elements to another element or remove elements, maybe you want to list elements, etc. Whenever you're performing those tasks and interacting with the JavaScript DOM, you may have seen that uh, the term node has popped up. Things like uh, child nodes or node list, etc. Uh, yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is the, the idea of an element and the idea of a node is often used interchangeably. So this video intends to sort of clear up, um, you know, the differences between an element and a node and just in general have a chat about what it actually is. So right here, we have an HTML document. Now, the question I wanna ask you is how many nodes are on this document here? Okay, so going back inside or going inside VS Code, uh, we can see this is what the HTML currently looks like. So again, speaking from the body element, okay, the actual page itself, the visible content, how many nodes are inside there? Well, we've got a couple of things going on. We've got the H1 tag. We've got some text after the H1 and before the paragraph alongside a strong tag within that. We have a paragraph tag itself and an unordered list with a couple of list items inside of there. So to answer the question of how many nodes are inside, let's have a look at the nodes um, on this page. Okay, so going inside my JavaScript file, I'm going to console.log here, document.body.childnodes, okay? If I was to save this and go back in the browser here, in the console, we get 13 nodes, okay? Let's expand this now and go through what these nodes are, all right? So let's begin with this first one, index zero we have a text node, okay? What is a text node? Well, a text node is simply just a, a part of the document which contains only text, okay? I'm gonna come back to the idea of text nodes and um, things like that, uh, but I just wanna go through the list of nodes first, just to explain it, right? So the first one is a text node, okay? Where is that? We don't know just yet, I'll come back to it. But the next up, sorry, the next thing is the H1. This is a type of node and it's probably the most common type of node, which is a element. Okay, pretty straightforward. Next, we've got a text node again. This time, it's the sum text section. And we can see that it's gonna stop before the before span because the next one is the strong. Sorry, when I said span, I meant to say strong. Okay, so the next one is the strong tag. Then we have some more text, the paragraph or the a paragraph text at the end of the uh, before tag, after the, after the before tag, right? Then we have a paragraph tag right after it, okay? Then we have some text, again, not visible. Then we have the unordered list. Then we have some text, a comment, some text, a script, and some more text. So these bottom four, I'm gonna come back to, but let's revisit the top text node, okay? So going back inside VS Code, let me show you what that actually is. As we know, I said document.body, which means we're looking at the nodes from the body onwards, right here. Where's the first text node before the H1? Well, it's right here. You can see it there highlighted, right? This white space is a text node. Because just, you know, just because it's white space doesn't mean it's not there. And the browser is going to interpret that as actually being a proper node. So that's what that text node is when it says zero text uh, in the console. Now, if I was to remove the white space between body and H1, you may expect here that, yeah, it's going to go away. I'll save this back in the browser. And now we start with the H1. So the point I'm trying to make here is, a node can be either text or an element. There are more things it can be. I'll get to that once I uh, take you through some of this documentation. But typically, you'll see that nodes are simply just an abstract type, sort of like a parent uh, overriding structure 
for either a text node or an element. So when some method in the JavaScript DOM says you can append either elements or text nodes, what it means is, is exactly that. Um, it could just say that you can append a node in many scenarios, and I think it might actually do that. Uh, but yeah, essentially you have text nodes and elements as your most common kind of node. Now, let's move forward to some more text nodes here. This one, well, as we sort of know, right, I think it's pretty self-explanatory that the way the browser interprets this line, this after the H1, let me just expand this down. You've got a text node from the end of this H1 to the start of this strong tag. That's one text node, including the white space. You have the element node, the strong, then you have some more text node here. So essentially you have one, two, and three before you reach the paragraph. And that is exactly what this one, oops, one, two, and three is. Now, what is this comment, text, script, and text? Well, uh, if I go into the element section here and I scroll down, we have some more things going on. So I'm using the VS Code live server extension. I'm sure many of you guys also use it for quick, uh, you know, quick little scripts and websites, whatever it might be. Um, so yeah, essentially that, that being injected by the live server is creating more nodes. Got a text node here at the end of the UL. You have the, uh, the comment from that live server script tag. And then I think there's an extra text node because at the end of the script is the body. It's that space there between the script and the body. If I just, you know, edit this here. Um, yeah, that, that space right here at the end of that is what that text node is. Fantastic. So honestly, that really sums it up for the most part. For most applications, you have a text node and you have an element node. But I do want to show you something that I found quite interesting that I guess we may sort of forget about because we're so focused on, um, you know, uh, interacting with the body tag. So let's just say here, document dot child nodes. Okay. Keep in mind that also the document is a type of node. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Now, if I say document dot child nodes and press enter, we get two things. We get this declaration at the top, which um, of course is part of, you know, your doc type and part of every HTML file, or if not everyone, then you have your HTML element. Okay, so two nodes in the, uh, the, the document itself, the whole thing, right? We can get a bit closer. We can say document.document element, okay? This here represents, oh, sorry, this here um, is the HTML tag. So the overarching HTML tag. I can say dot child nodes, okay? Press enter and we get head, text, and body. Let's go inside VS Code here. We have our, what was it? Head, text, and body, my mistake. So we have your head, your text, and your body. Fantastic. So going into the MDN documentation for Node, we can see here that, yeah, as it says, most notable for a type of Node is the document uh, type elements document fragment um, but you've also got text down here alongside comment C data section processing section document type attribute character data so all of these ones aside from text and comment are going to be pretty rare to see uh, I think this sort of just carries on from the fact that HTML is based on XML so you have these other node types but yeah, you're going to be interacting mainly with element, text, potentially comment, and also, of course, the document itself. Now, it's also worth mentioning that if we scroll down here, all of these properties are available on all node types, which is why I was able to say document.childnodes, and I was able to say elements.childnodes, etc., and it won't give me an error. Um, you've got things like first child, which you may have used in the past, uh, typically on elements, but it's important to know that that first child property actually belongs to the node type instead. So it comes from the, the node interface. You've also got last child, which you may have also used, next sibling, uh, probably a few more down here, uh, which, yeah, even, even text content, right? So a few more down here, which you may have used in the past. Um, 
But yeah, so you have those kind of things. I recommend that you guys actually check out the documentation for Node and also Elements as well as text because I think it's actually uh, it's actually really beneficial to read this stuff. Um, it means you can learn quite a bit as well. In fact, I get a lot of my video ideas from just reading documentation. I've mentioned it before, but it's a really good resource to yeah expand your knowledge and understanding of how uh, JavaScript works. So that right there are uh, nodes in JavaScript. Hope this video helped you out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.